yeah feels like really helpful to come into a state of mind whereby you release this spiritual mask that so many are wearing and come into an authentic experience of how you are feeling in the moment and where you're at and when I say where you're at, remember, this is not a linear journey. This is a state of mind. And so if you discover you're in a wrong minded state of mind for a moment, well, then you have to be very kind. That's the first response that's that's necessary if you want to come back to a state of mind that feels truly helpful. So you can't feel grateful when, when you feel like a wench. You can't feel grateful when you feel horrible. You can't feel grateful when you believe you're being nasty. So first and foremost, you just need to take a pause and a deep breath and step back and just see where your state of mind is. There are obviously beliefs in operation. You're obviously feeling threatened in some way. You're obviously feeling fearful and disturbed. And so you must address that first. The, the only difficulty we have is when we go out to address it in form. And suddenly we're banging on the screen of the, in the movie theater saying, hey, shark, don't go into the water you know dun 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 so what you need to do is pause because if you don't return to a state of mind that is at least receptive to the miracle then you'll be facing all of this on your own and that's what we've always done and that's never worked so the invitation this time is to not try and fix the discomfort but to face it so if we step back and pause for a moment and ask ourselves what am i fearful about this is what's being presented to me, the, these ideas of an anxious daughter, an anxious husband. But what am I fearful of? What, what do I feel is life-threatening to me? Because to be honest, we're not really interested in other people. We don't really care about them at all. Everything is just a matter of how much it affects our self-concept. And so to be honest, all we have to do is see where we feel personally threatened where our self-concept, our idea of ourself, which is, you know, not just our personality or our body, but everything, how we view the world, how we feel attacked. So that's what we want to do. We want to step back and find where we feel attacked. And where you feel attacked, that, that really will show you that you have certain beliefs in operation and a certain desire. Very often, simply for it to stop and for them to be different so that you don't feel the discomfort of healing coming up in your mind. But that won't really serve you at this point. And if, like so many of us, you've become devoted to becoming transparent and aware of what you feel, then you also have to question the belief in what I call secondary attack. And that's, I'm aware that I have not behaved the way I would formerly have liked my self-concept to behave, and now I'm expecting a reprise attack. So I call that secondary attack. And why does this matter? Well, it makes it very hard to come into the miracle because you start to justify your behavior, justify your beliefs and justify your thoughts and desires. So it doesn't allow for the openness, uh, for the miracle, for the healing, for the questioning. So we just want to come back to a state where you're not feeling completely life threatened for a moment in which you can just gather yourself not to fix anything in form, not to justify your position or theirs, and just notice how you're feeling. So you want to get very raw and aware of how you're feeling. You want to notice the judgments that are there about behaviors that you seem to have seen with this character self that you are accusing of being you. And so what we want to do for forgiveness is see the entire play out of how things are unfolding and not just analyze the motivations, thoughts and beliefs of one character. You want to see the entire play so everything in your life is like a play being used for awakening. And if everyone behaved perfectly all the time, there wouldn't be much chance of awakening, would there? There wouldn't be much evidence appearing on the screen of this fear, false evidence appearing real. And so you wouldn't have this insight into what's going on in the mind. The thing is that the, the screen can never tell you who you are. It's never going to be a true reflection of you because you're not a person in a world. So right here, right now, the invitation is to allow the character to play out and be seen by yourself and seemingly others, however is needful for you to become aware of the beliefs that are in operation. Now that takes a lot of courage. And I often say, well, you know, it's not the most peaceful looking person in, in, in the corner. 
uh, that is really going all the way for awakening. Sometimes it's the screaming harridan in the corner, tearing their hair out, being just all raw, vulnerable, open, you know, and, and not necessarily the smoothing it over amenable one that is truly devoted. Because in the moment where you catch yourself and you're witnessing to a self-concept that doesn't feel uh, in integrity, let's say, for you, then that's the moment where you can be kind. This is where the forgiveness is required. This is where the allowance is needed for healing, where you just step back and you go, okay, that's what's unfolding right now. Okay, not very proud of that moment. <laughs> But you're not going to try and shut it down. As soon as you regain any composure, which you will pretty much once you don't uh, barrage yourself for how you feel or justify it by blaming others, which is kind of what's been coming up in, in this question, then you'll be able to step back and say, OK, OK, I just need a moment. And you'll be able to see what's truly bothering you. And then... And then, this is the irony, you'll become grateful for finding out what was bothering you. You'll be extremely grateful to yourself for having lost the plot five minutes before. You'll be extremely grateful for the irritation of your child or the annoyance of your husband. You'll be extremely grateful for their most generous triggers. And that's what you're looking to find here every day because forgiveness and peace of mind doesn't come from keeping a facade. It comes from letting it slip and being transparent about everything that's going on, like passing clouds across the sun, moment by moment. It's not a definition of who you are. It's not a definition of where you are in the journey, because this is not a singular linear experience. This is a singular experience of awakening, which means you're really just going to be coming up against yourself in every moment. So the invitation is to come back to the state of mind where you're simply observing how you were doing a moment ago, noticing all the judgments you have of it, and finding the relief by tracing it back in your mind to see what your desire was. Your desire often will just be that they would just stop. It can be as simple as that, and it seems reasonable that they should just stop annoying you. It seems reasonable. So it doesn't matter what someone else seems to be doing, it's just the desire that they would stop doing it that really has to be questioned, that that would bring you peace of mind. And once you unfold and unfurl right back to that state, you'll be able to let it go. The more particular you're upset, the better. The more you can see, do I actually have a question here? Or am I just sharing my annoyance once more? Because if you don't share a question, then you're not going to find out what your actual desire is. And if you don't see what your desire is, you won't be able to lift it up and question it. So I'm going to put a link in here for Levels of Mind. It's an amazing website where you can trace back different experiences in the perceptual realm and work them all the way back to healing. There's only one caveat. You have to be extremely authentic. And you have to start to allow yourself to get in touch with what you want, even if in the moment it doesn't feel super spiritual. Because that reasonableness is, is what's keeping you stuck on this way.